Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm reviewing a book which I reviewed some years ago, um, and it's a, a perennial book which comes up now. It's a first-class book, again, uh, produced by Jordan Publishing Limited in Bristol. The book title is Local Authority Liability, now in a sixth edition, been written by two people, uh, John Morell and his honour judge Richard Foster. Now, Elizabeth and I talked about the book. I've done a review of this in the past, and Elizabeth had a look at it slightly separately because I thought it'd be nice to have a second pair of eyes on the uh, book itself because it's an important area of, of reference. We know some of the people who've contributed to it. We gave it the title for our book review, An Authoritative Work of Reference on Local Authority Liabilities, and that's exactly what it is. Let's look at the book first of all. It's a hardback. There we go, you can hear it there. Nice little purple cover. There is the spine, and then there is the back of the book. It's available also as an e-book, which you can see uh, mentioned there. Now, when you go into the front of it, I'll go to the back first, but I'll just explain a couple of things which I hope will be of help. It runs to 550 odd pages, you can see it there. Um, you've also got the paragraph numbering, so you need to, that's really how you find your way around the book itself. It's a detailed, um, very detailed uh, index. You do have, of course, footnotes of various sorts. Front of the book, that's the um, basic front page. Now on the, uh, this cover here, it just has the ISBN for the main book. So you need to go to jordanpublishing.co.uk for the ebook information. And then you've got the list of contributors. And my colleague Andrew Warnock is mentioned from um, 1 Chance Street Lane. And you've got quite a large number of people who've been involved in helping with this book. This is the preface to the sixth edition from the Right Honourable Lord Toulson. More of him in a moment. And then we get to the book, we, we get, um, that's the forward of course, then we have the, after the forward, we have the preface to the new edition, which is always worth reading because it gives you some idea of, of who has been involved and what's been going on uh, with this particular uh, work. Because it, as I said, it's now in its sixth edition, the first edition going back into the dim and distant past, October 1998 when Lord Wolf was Master of the Royals, so it's a long time ago. Then there are contents sections there, and then you, you see all running all the way through. Uh, detailed contents. Again, you've got page numbers, but you've got the contents and the chapters all the way through. And you run through to um, a total of 11 chapters. A final chapter on trees and nuisance. Trees and nuisance and other matters. And then there's an index, of course, detailed index at the back. Great table of cases listed there, a lot of cases covered. Then, of course, you've got your, you must have, of course, table of statutes and SIs, which are there, statutory instruments. Then we get into uh, European material. This is creeping in much more, we're getting much more European material coming in. Then we start with the first chapter, chapter one, introduction, to consider the duties owed by local authorities it is now necessary not only to look at the general principles which have been developed by the courts at the time, but also to look at how far these general principles have been affected or added to by the Human Rights Act 1998. So these are the basics right at the beginning, the basic rule of negligence starting all the way off. And you've got paragraph numbering, and then as I say, you could immediately you get into some footnoting for the detailed authoritative reference material. Lovely, I did a case like this, injuries on the sports field, there we go. The standard fair negligence, this stuff. Very interesting though, employer's liability. There's a lot in it, a fascinating read. And then as I say right at the back, it runs to uh, 550 odd pages, you go a very detailed index. So that's the book. It's a hardback, as I say, so it's good. Some nice comments about the uh, previous editions. Um, I was very impressed with this, have been, I've seen it, the book, for a number of years now. I, I can't remember how many reviews I've done, but I think I've re reviewed about three of the editions. And this particular edition I'm very pleased with, um, because I think that we, we do need for 2016 onwards to look exactly at where we are with negligence matters when it comes to local authorities. 
I think it became apparent even recently that the press, of, uh, the press, the public, probably the press as well, don't really have an idea of the extensive amount of power which local authorities actually have. And this local authority liability tries to set the record straight, I think, by the authors and contributors as to exactly how much liability there really is today and how far it extends notwithstanding those of you who probably watch Coronation Street and get perhaps the wrong idea sometimes about the extent of, of liability of certain city councils. But that's another matter. What do we say about the book? Well, what are the legal liabilities of local authorities? The short answer is that there are many and varied. But this is an understatement, of course, because Lord Tolson, writing in the foreword, refers to the labyrinth, labyrinthine state, of this area of law, where public law and private law principles frequently meet, often defying analysis and often hampering, um, or rather hampered, by ever-increasing legislation and regulations. And of course there's something else, and that is that if you sue a local authority, they've got money. Whereas if you sue an individual, they may not. And there's always a, something you should bear that in mind when it looks at um, private law in particular. So practitioners, in, that's, in other words, that's person versus person rather than person versus a, a, a state organisation. Practitioners and other professionals dealing with claims against local authorities have therefore relied on the successive editions of this long-established work of reference. It was originally published, as I've said, in 1998, and it's remained continually current and continually authoritative, and I thank John very much for that. And while there are a number of legal texts available on the legal principles pertaining to local authority uh, liabilities, this book focuses on providing illuminating and detailed commentary on case law and, of course, actual cases. So over 11 chapters, almost 600 pages, the book covers what must be the full spectrum of local authority duties and liabilities, from human rights and housing and highways to environmental liabilities, employers' liabilities, education, that's the sports fields, of course, as well, and considerably more. Being published, of course, a new edition recently by Jordans. Now in a sixth edition, it contains much new material for which we thank everybody responsible very much for updating it. Um, it does make it an essential purchase. It's been revised and updated to take account of the latest developments as well. And whilst these are too numerous to recount in precise detail here, it's sufficient to say that they include, for example, commentary on the extent of the common law duty of care owed by police to victims of crime and duties under the Human Rights Act 1998. And in fact, the introduction kicks off with that. So you know exactly where they're coming from right at the beginning. Whether we have changes in the futures for the new 7th edition in due course is another matter. Other recent developments discussed include vicarious liability in abuse cases, non-delegable uh, duty owed by schools, the requirement of notice of disrepair, always a popular one, the duty to maintain and statutory duty, uh, sorry, statutory defence under specific sections of the Highways Act 1980, the duty of care in cases of natural nuisance and foreseeability in cases of tree root subsidence. Another area that's actually quite important because it can affect the value of the property very substantially and of course it can make you homeless as well. Considering that both local authorities and claimants must contend with the current austerity climate of reduced budgets and cuts, having this book to hand, we feel, um, because it's a reliable reference book, becomes all the more important. Fortunately, it's logically organised with the needs of the practitioners very much in mind. I did find it easy to read, and I think the ordinary lay person would find it quite interesting to read too, bearing in mind many parties today are unrepresented. This is a minutely uh, detailed um, list of contents and, and index information which is also available in the book, which I do think makes it easy to navigate. Um, in other words, make things easier to look up. Uh, you've got numbered paragraphs throughout, which again I think is quite easy. You've got 35 pages of the cases, essays and statutes, 
plus this bit of European material. There's a lot of research presented here in one convenient volume and I can see a lot of effort has gone into getting it right and doing a really excellent job. And under the editorship of John Morrell and um, His Honour Judge Richard Foster then this is a book written by specialists for other specialist practitioners. Although anyone professionally involved in dealing with claims against local authorities, including insurance and risk management professionals, will we think find it indispensable. It's a very technical area there. Always beware and do seek legal advice. But as I say, for the lay person, you might find it interesting to read. Might make you think twice sometimes about whether you actually think you've got a case. Anyway, that, that's the way, that, that's where we are at the moment. The publication date is cited at uh, September 2015. Let's look at the book again very quickly. There's the front, um, the spine there, and then the back. There's a lot of detail about some of the new cases as well, which is helpful. Just opening it up in the middle. Housing and occupiers liability. Again, you can see a lot of case law mentioned, actually. I think there's been a huge amount of research put into this. Cases involving activities. Again, an important area, especially for the mums and dads, um, risk assessments, all sorts of other things. A lot of cases you will know appear in this book as well. As I say, just at the front, let me just remind you again of the people involved. These are the main contributors. Uh, thank you to all of them. I mentioned John Morrell, um, Judge Foster, Angus Piper, Andrew Warnock, Queen's Council, and Mark Whitaker. Thank you to all of you for this excellent book. And thank you also to Jordans for producing it. We do rely on the work that you give us, uh, these textbooks and the practitioners' books. They make our lives a lot easier. Thank you to all your staff there for the excellent work you do and the service you give us. It's gratefully received. I think the bench would agree with me. At least I hope they do as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.